Hi, my name is Jim DeVore, and today we're going to learn how to install and get the LEGO Mindstorm software up and running. First thing to do is download the software to your computer. Fortunately, it's free, so let's just Google it. Uh, Mindstorm's EV3 software. It's going to be one of these first few links. You're likely going to get this page right here, and then you're going to click the download button right over here, highlighted in blue. You got some options. If you have a PC, these settings are good enough. If you have a Mac, use this menu to select OS X for the version to download. Also, if you'd like another language, there's some options. Now, let's proceed to downloading the software. Click that link, and then click this download button down here, and it'll get started. Now, while that's downloading, I've already uh, downloaded it, so let's look at what the software is itself. The software starts you on this page right here, the start page. The most important thing on the start page is the EV3 help section. Now the EV3 help section tells you about all the blocks you use while programming. So let's look at this project I have open. Quick note, to make a new project, simply use the plus button. To open a previous project or look at one that you've already got open, click on the project tab. I've got a program with a block with, that's called move tank. Now you probably have no idea what that means, so that's why we need the help function. The move tank thing has this menu, and it's got some settings with numbers. Now let's use the help file to help us out. Now we're going to go to programming blocks and look for the move tank block. You could look through this list and read them all and find it here, or you could use the find function. Press Control F to open the find function on whatever browser you have and type in the name of the block. You'll notice it highlights it. Click on it and it'll tell you all about the block's function and how it works. So right here it says what each of these little buttons are, it tells you about them, and as an added bonus it gives you lots and lots of example code. So suppose you're wondering how this brick works. Just take a scan through this, look at some of the examples and run them. One of the best ways to learn how to use software, especially programming software, is to just play with it. Now the other important category is sensors. Let's go back to the EV3 software, back to our project. These tabs down here are different categories of program objects. There's also a sensor category. The sensor category covers all kinds of sensors. You don't have to know the icons, you just have to hover and know the name. So, infrared sensor. What if you don't know what that does? No big deal. Go back to your help page, which you can get to in your browser. Go back to the general category, programming blocks. Control F for find. Infrared. Bam. Infrared sensor is right there. So we click on it and it explains what the buttons do it gives you a general explanation of how the sensor works and it gives you lots of helpful example code this will help you immeasurably as you learn how to program let me cover the basics of programming really quick the basics are uh, this flow tells your robot what to do so if you want your robot to drive forward and then turn uh, this tells it to drive forward and then we can put another move block after the move tank block to tell it to turn. Now driving forward, these are the motor powers and both are set to 75. If you want it to turn, you want one motor going the other way. So you take this slider and you do negative 75. Or something close to it. And that would tell you about to drive forward and turn. What I would encourage you to do is to use Google and find examples. So if you are wondering how to get a line following robot to work? Google it. EV3 is the keyword you're looking for. Line follower program. Bam! All kinds of results that can tell you how to follow a line. So here's one that's a YouTube video. Here's another under construction one. And this guide comes up a lot. I would recommend it. It's got lots and lots of details about how to program this brick. And lots of explanations of the sensors. This is probably a good starting point. So all you need to do is Google EV3 programming examples and this will come up. 
that is enough to get you started. So remember the basics are uh, find the name of the block, go to the lobby, EV3 help, programming blocks, find the block in here by looking or by using the find function and you'll have all kinds of fantastic details in the block that tell you how to use it. One last thing before we go, the sensor port view is really handy. So let's go back to our project. The port view is down here. It starts here. You're going to want to click this middle one that says port view. This tells you what's connected to your robot and what the reading is. So if you're wondering uh, how the infrared sensor senses things, for instance, it's right here. So if I put my hand in front of it, one, which means not very far away at all. If I back my hand off slowly, it increases. And that'll tell you, okay, I know that this object is so far away from the sensor, what is the sensor reading? Same with the light sensor. The light sensor will change values as I move the light sensor around. The touch sensor changes from 0 to 1 when I push the touch sensor. And the motors will tell me how many rotations or degrees they have turned. That's enough to get you started. Uh, for the rest, use Google, use the help files, use this panel, and play around with it.